What's happening folks? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Pensacola, Florida. For all of you guys traveling down to this area, vacation and getting ready for your vacation this summer, we're going to show you what it's like to go offshore fishing right here out of Pensacola. So if you were coming down and wanting to book a charter boat or something like that, this is going to kind of be your experience. So we're going to take you guys along with us. I'm here with Bearded Brad, go the, go 1v1. the hammerhead man himself. <laughs> now, Brad wins the 1v1 for the whole year. He just caught a hammerhead off the beach. I've never caught one of those before. Beautiful morning. Look how calm it is. Woo! Brad just said, informed us that he gets seasick and we didn't know that. Only so. one time ever. It's only happened once. And it happened the other day. Yeah, so. last weekend. <laughs> I got a patch on. <laughs> we are back on the cobia this morning folks speaking of cobia it'd be a good day to catch a cobia. it would be a great day to catch a cobia we are going out rigged for anything and everything today okay it's going to be a beautiful day hopefully we get on some top water action maybe some pelagics for a change let's go let's do it This reminds me of what I did for 10 years of my life, sitting right here oh on these God. little tide lines, catching bait. <laughs> Brad's got two it? of them coming right there. While I'm driving the boat, his charter boat, Captain Brand. There's a good one right there. That's a herring right there, guys. That's a great bait for anything out there. Yes, sir. Okay, that's a good one right there. That's a good cigar man right there. You can see them all down there under the boat, guys. Look how, look at, that's all cigar minnows and herring down there. Every one of them. There you go. There you go, Ray. We just made it out 30 miles and we've got some really cobalt blue water which is awesome and we rolled up on a weed line so we have really good opportunity for mahi wahoo different stuff like that but we're just kind of looking right now i think we see a school of blackfin tuna right here could be some bonitas mixed in with them but uh there's a bunch of birds that's blackfin dude that, that that was a blackfin that just came out of the water right there I don't think I reached him. Dang it. Dang it. That was the black fins, man. We need something different. That was a big black fin right there that just blew up. Oh, we need it. Uh, well, do we have that? We need a live bait. Hold on. I need to get a live bait going. All right, I'm going to throw a live bait out right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, 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 we're on, we're on. He just got hit. He just got hit. I don't know what I got, but he got, that didn't take long at all. Oh, nice mahi, dude. Heck yeah. I would, uh, are we in gear? Let's stop there. Yeah. I'm hoping there's going to be more with him. Let's see. He did. Ain't a big one, but he's all right. I'll take him. Oh, come here, buddy. There we go. Funny, we saw those tuna busting on top. And so I threw a cigar butt out and boom, got a mahi. Let's put he, I'm gonna eat, make some fish tacos out of him. And they will get your boat so dirty. Good gracious. Just the left away you threw it back. Okay, all right, cool. Got me another live bait going here, folks. Let's see what happens. Oh man, they were working in front of us too. Oh, really? I, I think there's a lot of tuna in here, yeah. Oh yeah, they're going nuts behind us. Look, if you can get that popper on them, uh, Brian, you're probably gonna be money. <sighs> They went down again. They're not letting us get uh, 
super close to them. Oh. There you go, Brad. You're on. Brad, you're on. You were right in them there, dude. Oh, how did you not get hit? A little jacked up here. This ain't what you want right here. There's a pod of dolphin <laughs> coming by the boat. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Look at them. The tuna don't like those. We're doing a little bit of trolling right now. We've got four rods out. Just uh, just trying to catch pelagics today. The, there's, the water is so blue that I think that is our best bet. Oh, fish on, fish on, no, another one. That looks like a mahi, dude. Yep, it is. Oh, he's jumping. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, that one hit a Yozuri crystal minnow right here. This is what I had out, and that's what Ray had out right here. He's got him a little mahi coming. Let's see if there's any more with him. I do see, uh, I do see another fish. I don't know if that's. I do see a fish coming in. No, no, no. There's two fish. No, there's a lot of mahi. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. I got him. I got him. I got him. Nice one. Nice one. Heck yeah. There was more with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was cool. Woo! That was cool, guys. There was one come up. There was Yeah, there's another nice one right here somewhere, Brian. Right right under you. Right under you. Yeah. That was cool. Anytime you get a mahi, there's usually going to be more with him. Oh yeah. Brad's on. Brad's got his first mahi, guys. That is so cool. <laughs> Brian, you're not allowed to gaff mine. <laughs> there you go, Brad. All right, right here. Yeah, let's net him. I feel good with Brian with a net. Not some. Not oh, you some... shouldn't say that. <laughs> go, all right. <laughs> hey, there we go. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that is Bearded Brad's very first mahi. Yeah. We're trolling, Ray hooks up, and anytime somebody hooks a mahi, it is very important to reel up and because uh, there's usually going to be more than one with him. So yeah, that was awesome. These are going to be good right here. One of them looked real big, so we're going to keep, keep chunking and winding. It's always good to have a good pair of polarized glasses when you're doing this, y'all. I've got mine right here, Waterlands sunglasses. They are linked in my description if you want to check them out. But it really helps when I'm seeing these fish like that. There we go. You on? Yep. Yep. Brian's on. All right, nice, Brian. There was some with it. We don't know where they went. Look at that, guys. Look how pretty these fish look in the water. They are just absolutely gorgeous. You need the gaff? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I should practice that size. Just in case. <laughs> Bring him on up here, man. Oh, hey, that's, a, that's an eater. Yeah, that's nice. We're going to end the day trying to catch a limit of trigger fish. Okay, trigger fish are outstanding to eat. I've got a little piece of squid on a uh, Carolina rig. And so, 15 to the fork, yep. Let's see how long it takes to get hit by Mr. Triggerfish. These are a fantastic eating fish, and believe it or not, I have never done a catch and cook triggerfish on this channel. All right, it's down, and I'm already getting hit as soon as I get down there. I'm already getting popped. I'm on, I'm on, there he is. Oh yeah, oh, that may, oh, he came off, dang it. He's back on it. I got one back on it. There's something back on it. There he is. Oh yeah, I'm back on. Oh, I got a. I think I got a decent one. Nah, uh, maybe not. Oh yeah, I got a decent one. These fish coming up in the water column. Look. <sighs> this is a good one.
Right then, all right, Brad. You just let me do my thing over here, Brad. You're gonna catch tail pinchers, okay? And I'm gonna bring up a 20 incher, all right? Yeah, let's see. You got a red snapper. I don't think it is, Brad, but okay. Guys, oh, dang, come on. This is a fighter right here, dude. He's trying to get me in the wreck. Oh, there he is. Brian, we're gonna need the net for him. Right. Yeah. Look at all the fish coming up in the chum. Oh! Oh! Big old trega fish right there. That one is going home. That was on the very first drop. That ain't too bad right there, Brad. Nice little mixed bag. Not for a quick, be quick good. trip. Yep. We're going to go take these up, clean them up real quick. Ugh. You need me to carry that for you, Brad? No, I'm good, man. I'm good. All right, folks, let's clean these triggers. And I've already cleaned a pile of these fish, including the mahi mahi. I like to get them started like this down the side and just hit the uh, hit the skin. Don't nick the meat. And then what you can do, cut them across like this, grab the skin, and just yank it off just like that that's easy, pretty impressive easy peasy and uh and then from there you just kind of trace around it like a normal fish and trigger fish is in my opinion a fantastic fish to eat and i can't believe i've never done a catch and cook with one on my channel i have done trigger fish catch and cook i did one last summer and that's it guys that's what you're left with a fine filet right there okay. right, that is that's what i'm good. that is what i'm taking home we just got back to the house but we got a special guest that's going to be cooking for you today and i just posted a new recipe she did for what for a very simplified bedia taco and i'm gonna just say that it's a heartburn free americanized bedia taco look at those trigger fish fillets right there and we'll let Melanie handle everything. I'm excited about the fish. I don't know what it tastes like, but I saw this seasoning. It's called tagine. It's basically like a chili pepper seasoning. So I figured I'll try it with the fish, some paprika, some cayenne, salt, pepper, butter. Can't go wrong, but we'll just see how it turns out. All right, we got our hot skillet. We're gonna go in with some olive oil and then with some butter. Let's get our fish in there. So the fish is looking nice and browned on both sides and I can tell that it's starting to flake. Oh yeah. Look at that. You can see that we've got two different trigger fish fillets here. And this, this fillet came off of my trigger fish and this fillet came off of Brad's. Do you see a difference here? This one's a little bit bigger. Wow. That is so firm and so flavorful. Melanie did such a great job seasoning that fish. Guys, if you are traveling down <clears throat> to our area and you're looking to get on a charter boat or something like that, check the Fish Rules app. That's my favorite app to see what's in season. If trigger fish is in season, get on a charter boat and go catch some because this is absolutely worth every penny. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and shoot me a big thumbs up. Everything that we're involved with is linked in my description below. I'm a licensed realtor along the Gulf Coast here. And so if you have any needs, then uh, hit me up from Perdido Key all the way to Panama City, Florida. Other than that, folks, we'll catch you next time.